welcome back. I don't know what episode this is because I definitely didn't drink that much. Uh, <laughs> Wino Wednesday. Cassie's back, compliance. And look who we found all Hi. the way from Texas. Well, Heather Kylan came to visit Yay. us. And she brought some of her favorite wine from a local vineyard, right? Yes. Called Hack. Hack. H A A K, Hack Winery. And it's, she's got the connections. It's located in Santa Fe. Um, they actually make their... Not to be confused with New Mexico. Nope. Santa Fe, Texas. Nope. Um, and they do their grapes on site and all of their distillery. Isn't that like the difference okay. between a vineyard and a winery? Yes. It's that they grow their own grapes, own grapes. right? Yep. See, we're getting smarter every yep. week here, people. They've been around for a while, so definitely a pretty neat spot if you're in Houston to go and visit. It's a really pretty, pretty area. And we have a special treat because Heather's got the connections here. So she <laughs> is going to get the manager of the vineyard on the phone and she's going to tell us herself about this wine. Okay, let's see, how this, great. Let's see how this works. She better answer. <laughs> Her name is Lee. Hello. Hi, Lee. It's Heather. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're sitting here. We've got your Tempranillo open. And if you would just okay. give us kind of a play by play with what, what's going on with this wine. So um, here at Hack, we grow our own grapes, but they're all white grapes. And so we outsource our red grapes to different vineyards here in Texas. And this is actually grapes from two different vineyards, uh, Ready Vineyard and Six Heart Vineyards, uh, both up in the Texas High Plains. Um, and those, those were 2016 is the vintage. It was aged in American and French oak barrel, and it has, um, it exhibits a little dried raspberry, a little black cherry, it has a little hint of vanilla and some sweet spices. Um, you may have a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon on there, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but it also on the, um, you might have like a bright, like strawberry jam on the palate. And it has really nice, soft tannins with a long, elegant finish. What do you, I, I really like this one. I think it's a great fall wine. Yes. What do you recommend as yes. far as uh, pairing it with? Oh, uh, any type of meat that's grilled, any type of mm. pasta. Hot dogs. Uh, goes great with tapas, uh, lots of different cheeses. Awesome. Um, if you can really like something like a, a blue cheese, or um, even something salty. Um, it, it goes real well with strong flavors like that. And awesome. the, that elegant finish really smooths those, um, those bold flavors out. Well, it's we're drinking it right now. We, love we it. think it's amazing. It's very good. We, it's fantastic. Really excited. We're going to move on to your Blanc de Bois, the semi dry. Okay. And you can give us a rundown uh, on that one. I sure will. So our Blanc de Bois is made from grapes from six different vineyards, including ours. Mm. Um, they, some of the grapes have a two-hour time to our winery and a refrigerated truck. Um, all of them are picked in the morning, including ours. We usually pick our grapes um, earlier, about six weeks earlier than most other places because of the humidity. Humidity. Where we are. Okay. And um, they're a whole cluster pressed, mm -hmm. and then they go into a stainless steel tank for cold settling. Um, with this one, I really love this one because it's very um, on the nose. You'll have that great fruit mm. of a, Ooh. like aromas. Is that your jam? Apricot, mm -hmm. Peaches, honey, um, even some tropical fruits with that. So the Blanc de Bois grape has always has a little citrus in it, and I love mm -hmm. this one because our winemaker has manipulated it to almost a pineapple. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is like a summery. Yeah. Yeah. Sit yeah. on the deck. Yes, balanced, yes. Like sugar and acidity in this one. Mm -hmm. um, so it has like delicate kind of fruity nuances. It's a, it's like and a little dry, but you get so much sweet with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it has like a little crisp to the finish. Absolutely, so yeah. Mm -hmm. We like to pair that one with some like local seafood, 
or oh, yeah. pasta. Absolutely. Like poultry. Absolutely. But it also goes really good with like spicy dishes like Thai or Indian mm -hmm. dishes as well. You could almost almost have this as just a dessert wine too. It's got that sweetness. Mm -hmm. For people that don't like a Chardonnay or a Pinot, this is a really good blend from a Moscato over to get people that can kind of open their palates up. Mm -hmm. well, we just went, this is thank awesome. I think that we impressed them, honestly. So thank you Are for you doing this. Them. Yeah, <laughs> I think the hack, the hack Winery really came through like this. These are two really good wines. We're so. gonna send some travel awesome. nurses your way. I know, we will. We have tours. lots in Houston, so yeah. I'm gonna tell them to come down and get some tours from you guys. Absolutely, so. and hey, Holler, I'll, I'll send you some coupons. Thank you so I'll much. i work with Jeremy. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks, Lee. You thank too. you. You know what this reminds me of is uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I love oh, yeah. them because they're so citrusy, mm -hmm. and that's what it reminds Very me citrus. of. Very citrus. Mm. Very citrus. And well, you can she's go a wealth of knowledge. I know. Yeah. So really nice lady. She's really awesome. She, um, her husband works with my husband. Oh. Yeah. So he, police officer. Absolutely. Yep. And uh, that's how I know her. And, and we that's go out how there you and came to find. Well, actually, we went there to go find our local winery and Very saw her. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I know who you are!" And then she became manager, and I was like, "Oh." I got cool. the hookup in Texas, so <laughs> yeah. I'll just come down and I'll show you She'll guys buy around. You bottles of wine, <laughs> <laughs> like my empty promises. Okay. I know. <laughs> Maybe they're not empty. Not as empty um, as our glasses I, are gonna be. I think I buy like six or seven a week, and they're always like, you know, you're supposed to fill your wine fridge up. I just empty mine out. Yeah. Like I can't ever keep you it stocked. It. I, can't I never keep mine it stocked is an either. Issue. It is an issue. I need a seller. Or is it? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I think you should. Yes. You should go there. Like yes. a cave like one. Exactly. Yeah. It has to be under the stairs though, because we don't totally. have we don't yeah, that's sell it. We don't have spooky. Do you have under basement? the stairs? We well, don't have basement. Okay. Yeah. No. You would drown in it. Yeah. Our I was gonna waters, say. our water comes up pretty fast. But anyways. These were really great. I Yes, they were. Cheers, I, ladies. So glad I'm in the audience. Thank you to Lee. That was Thank so you, kind Lee. of you. Thank you, Hack. Until next time. <laughs>